This year's Nobel Peace Prize has been awarded to a Belarusian human rights activist and two groups, the Center for Civil Liberties based in Ukraine and Memorial, a human rights organization from Russia. The Nobel Committee calls Memorial the most authoritative source of information on political prisoners in Russian detention facilities and praised its work to promote human rights and document war crimes. But that work put Memorial's leaders in grave danger. In 2009, head of the group's branch in Chechnya, Natalia Estemirova, was murdered. When the prize was announced, Estemirova's daughter, Lana, tweeted, My mom was Memorial, and Memorial was my mom. She worked tirelessly to help the victims of the Russian war in Chechnya and hold the criminal regime to account. I wish she would be here to share this triumph with her colleagues, but everything we do, we do in her memory. And Lana Estemirova joins me live now for more on this. Lana, thank you for being here. I'm sure this is kind of a bittersweet day for you. So what does it mean for you to see your mother's work recognized now with this Nobel Peace Prize? Um, thanks for having me. Um, it uh, really came as a surprise when I saw the... Um, um, the, the when I, when I saw these news, I felt very emotional because Memorial is often described as the conscience of Russia, not only uh, because it's uh, done an incredible work uh, at documenting the repression uh, in the Soviet Union and collecting a database, but also thanks to the Human Rights Center um, that uh, documented human rights abuses that happened um, in the Northern Caucasus. Uh, my mom worked uh, in the uh, Chechen branch of Memorial uh, in, in the Human Rights Center. And um, not only did she see all the horrors of war and um, face danger many times, um, she collected evidence of human rights abuses perpetuated by the Russian army and by Putin's proxy, Kadyrov, who is ruling Chechnya at the moment. She um, helped the victims of the families to gain justice um, and filed their complaints um, and their cases to the European uh, Court of Human Rights. But uh, not only that, she also at points helped to negotiate with the Russian law enforcement in Chechnya to return some of the men who were abducted, some innocent men, and return them to their families, or if that didn't work, to at least return the bodies to their loved ones. And in the end, she fell the victim to this regime, and her murderers have not been prosecuted. That's why um, the news um, of Nobel Peace Prize, it just... Um, it, it was um, it was tremendous, and I feel really sad that she can't be here and share this triumph. But at the same time, it gives uh, motivation to me and to her colleagues to carry on our work uh, because um, we, uh, because all the winners are of the Nobel Peace Prize are united by one goal: to fight oppression and dictatorship, and to ensure that human rights persist. Because these are universal values that we're fighting for and that many people have given their lives and freedom for. Uh, Lana, hundreds of people have been arrested now for protesting the war in Russia. Oppos opposition leader Alexei Navalny is also in a Russian detention center right now. The U.S. has said that Brittany Griner and some other Americans are being wrongfully detained, potentially to be used as political pawns. So what's the biggest issue right now when it comes to political prisoners in Russia? And where does that leave memorial given Vladimir Putin has now banned the organization? Um, first of all, when memorial, uh, when the announcement was made, um, a few of the, the memorial employees were actually in court fighting for their office because their offices are being taken away from them. Um, and when it comes to political prisoners, um, it's it's very hard at the moment to put pressure on Russia, given the kind of atrocities it's uh, committing in Ukraine at the moment with impunity. Um, but it's very important to still keep a spotlight on those um, who pursue anti-war movement in Russia, because they have to do it in, um, in, in very terrible circumstances, um, because um, Peace can happen partly um, because of these activists, um, because being well aware of the danger that they're facing, although there's very, very little of them, unfortunately, they carry on their struggle and they don't compromise with their conscience. That's why we need to keep spotlight on them and those people who are in prisons now and many of whom are being tortured. All right, Lana Estimerova, we appreciate your time today.
Glad you get to celebrate this, at least in this way. Thank you. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.